Hello everyone, I hope you're having a fantastic day. Um, my name is Blake, I'm an audio engineer. I do live sound, freelance recording, mixing and mastering, and then I also work for a radio syndication company as a board operator. Um, most of you probably have no idea who I am, and rightfully so. Um, I just wanted to make this video because of something that happened to me a couple weeks ago, and I figured it'd be interesting to share to anybody who uh, might benefit from this. So here's what happened. On the weekends, I typically work live sound at the local venue. Um, after each band plays, you know, while we're setting up for the next act, I usually chat up the band a little bit just to kind of exchange information, get to know them a little bit. Um, one of the guitarists of the band that I was talking to uh, was actually interested in going into school for audio production and engineering. Uh, myself having been a graduate of one of the local colleges there, um, I was kind of giving him information and that kind of stuff. What I found interesting was he was very hesitant to actually go to school for uh, music production and audio engineering because of the fact that he was worried he just wouldn't be able to get a job. And that's really the main reason why I'm making this video. To all aspiring audio engineers out there, there is opportunity for you to find uh, full-time employment or close to full-time employment. Um, you just really have to work at it. A lot of times what happens is when people want to go to school for audio engineering or they take up an interest to become an audio engineer, they automatically want to um, start their own recording studio and they'll think, okay, I'm going to find all this talent, you know, I'm going to record the best rappers and rock bands and we're just going to make, you know, great music and, and I'm going to constantly be working um, on these awesome uh, projects. And unfortunately, that's usually not the way to put bread on the table. Um, some people, you know, manage to open up shop and, and do it right away, and that's fantastic, and I envy them. Um, that's, that was the way that I thought that I was going to make my money as an audio engineer and support the, my family. Um, but really, that's not the most realistic case nowadays, but you can still be a full-time audio engineer. The biggest thing for anybody who wants to work close to, if not full-time, for audio engineering, um, you just have to be willing to to work, you know, <laughs> and, and, it's, and it kind of seems um, self-explanatory, but really that's the case. Um, again, what I do uh, for, to earn money for, to put food on the table, um, I technically have three jobs. The first one that I do is live sound. The second one I do is uh, I work as a board operator for the for a radio syndication company. And then the third thing I do is I do freelance recording, mixing, and mastering. Um, the radio job takes up most of my time, but you know on the weekends and any other free time I have, I'm doing the other two jobs. Um, so I work full time as an audio engineer, and I gotta say I love it. I used to work as uh, a staple supervisor, and that was what I did full time. That's um, that was my primary source of income for a long time. I did that, and then I did live sound on the weekends. Um, and now being able to work full time, I gotta say it's fantastic. And I wish everybody the um, the fortune that I have been blessed with. Um, the big thing that I have to say is, again, you just have to be willing to to look for it and you have to be willing to work for it. You know, if you're, um, keep an eye out for, for what's there. If you really love audio, you should be willing to do almost any audio job within reason. Um, you know, for, for a lot of the freelance stuff that I've done, um, I've basically have just taken in, you know, two or three track mixes um, from other clients and then they'd want me to actually mix it down and master it for them. Um, I've had a lot of clients who they've already recorded say drums but they don't sound good so I have to fix it and and make it sound as professional as possible. Um, for the live sound stuff, you know, talk to people, uh, find a place to maybe intern at. That's how I started. Um, I interned at a venue for about a month and um, as my skill grew I asked if I could, you know, be hired as a employee there and they took me on board. It's very important to not have tunnel vision for this type of field because there are so many different things that you can do in audio um, that a lot of people forget about. You gotta remove that tunnel vision of 
just owning and operating a recording studio because unless you're a big time engineer, odds are you aren't going to have the steady clients to bring in the income that you need. Now I'm not going to dive into this anymore really, um, I'm not going to go into too many specifics just because um, I, can, I can do a couple more videos on that if you'd like. I just wanted to let all you aspiring engineers out there, there is opportunity for you to get employment. You just have to be willing to work for it. You have to keep your eyes open and get rid of that tunnel vision of just owning a studio. Again, if you're able to um, you know, just kind of have a studio as a hobby and just try and build up from that, that's great. Um, but if you're if you if you were like me and you just wanted to do audio full time and that was it, you didn't want to do anything else. Um, that's what you'll need to do. You need to be willing to do the work, take the jobs, and um, you know keep your eyes open. I'll uh, dive into this a little more in some other videos as far as how to get those jobs and what type of jobs you can get. I'll do that in the future. Until then, thanks again for checking out the channel. If you did like the video, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up. If you dislike the video, dislike it. Uh, give it a thumbs down. It definitely helps me uh, filter out what I should and shouldn't make. Uh, for future content. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave it in the comment section below. And uh, yeah, until next time, I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.